And if you haven't had that pizza, it is an excellent one to enjoy. It's one of my favorites. But in terms of today, it was not one of my favorites. We certainly had some severe weather we were dealing with earlier, and it brought impacts to just about everybody. But a live look outside right now, this is Mystic, an area that saw the last of the rain. It certainly took some time to get through here. Uh, but right now, you see mostly cloudy skies. Temperature still very muggy in the 70s, and the humidity dew point still very uncomfortable out there. It still has a tropical feel to it, even with all the rainfall that has exited the area through Hartford, where we had a flash flood warning for several hours throughout the city for a lot of the rainfall that we saw us had. I'll show you some numbers in just a minute, but still a lot of clouds out there, still 72 degrees. High today in Hartford was 91, so very warm out there. First alert live radar, though, is scanning the state, mostly dry. There is a little shower right now through northern Fairfield County. Uh, not seeing any lightning with this, which is a good thing. We don't need any more of that, but a few showers through Danbury and New Milford, uh, Brookfield, Bridgewater, seeing some of that over the next hour or so. We're still waiting for the cold front to pass through. It has not cleared the area just yet, so the threat for any showers, maybe a rumble of thunder does continue, and we're still in that first alert weather day as our severe thunderstorm watch is still in effect until 7. But all these little dots here, those are indicating thunderstorm wind damage, strong gusty winds up to 60 miles per hour. The rainfall was excessive. The yellow shading here is radar, radar estimated two to near three inches, if not more, and it encompassed a lot of the state. Areas closer to the shoreline, about an inch or two, even a little bit more through New Haven, just over two inches of rain there. Here's a look at some of the storm reports where you can tell, uh, certainly towards the north, there's a flood issue that we had, and then that wind gust just to the south of Hartford of 60 miles per hour. Uh, this little dot here, that's for a tree that fell on 991, blocked the right lane. So we had a wild weather day for most of us. Luckily, things have begun to calm down. Severe thunderstorm watch now is excluded from Hartford Holland and Wyndham County. That's through Boston's National Weather Service. And I expect Litchfield and the shoreline that will most likely get canceled before that 7 p.m. So we can say goodbye to the severe weather. And that's a good thing. Temperatures out there, though, still very mild 70s for just about everybody. The exception of Waterbury, where it's still 69. But the dew point is also 69. So it's very uncomfortable out there, very muggy and humid. But that will change. Once this cold front, which right now is still much farther towards the west, say passing through Albany right now, clears this state. Once that does, you will notice improvements tonight by the overnight hours and tomorrow morning. It looks excellent out there. Any plans to head to the beaches tomorrow? It's a perfect day. Index of a nine heat, uh, UV index, I should say. Well, upper 70s and lower 80s along the shoreline. We're going to take a quick look at the tropics because we have a very intense uh, hurricane out there. This right now is Hurricane Barrel. It's a Category 3 or excuse me, Category 4 hurricane with winds of 130 miles per hour, still expected to strengthen. The track keeps it in the Caribbean, which is no threat to Connecticut, but it is the first hurricane of Category 4 strength in June, so just remarkable there. But for us, for the week, Monday, Tuesday looks excellent. Creeps up, though, by the end of the week with some of that humidity out there. First alert, future cast. Once we get through any showers throughout the remaining part of the overnight, tomorrow looks excellent. Maybe a spot shower later on in the afternoon. Not a big deal, and it all sets a stage for a near-perfect Tuesday. Tonight it gets cooler, upper 50s to right around 60. Tomorrow, upper 70s to right around 80. It's a really nice day out there. Your first alert, seven-day forecast. Tuesday, certainly the best day of the week. A bit warmer by Wednesday, and then by the time we get to the 4th of July, Bryant, it's looking like warmer temperatures, and we stay unsettled through the rest of the weekend, even into the weekend.